Getting a new puppy can be one of the most exciting and rewarding things that you will ever do, but it's so important that you've done your research and know exactly what to expect. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the costs involving in owning a Vimarana to give you a more clear idea and to make sure you're not left counting the pennies. Welcome back to the Fenrir Vimarana Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at Fenrir Canine Leaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. From the start of 2020 through to 2021, the world's been hit with the coronavirus. This virus has had impacts globally. It's seen countries put into lockdown and people staying in their homes to keep each other safe. The coronavirus has even affected the canine world. The prices of puppies have become extortionate and have almost tripled during this time. This is because the demand for the new puppies have grown due to people being at home more during lockdowns. People have had more free time to devote to training and socialisation. The demand for dogs has significantly increased, therefore the cost of puppies have sadly increased too. It's so important when you're looking to buy a Vimarana puppy that you know how much money you should be spending. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the price range you should anticipate when getting a new puppy. It's always important that before buying any puppy, you check that they've come from a proper background of healthy dogs, that the parents are healthy and that you're not buying from a puppy mill. A reputable breeder will charge you a fair price and won't be looking to rip you off. You should look to spend around £950 to £1,250 or around $800 to $1,500 in the US to ensure that you get a healthy, well-bred Vimarana puppy. Currently, the UK's top breeders for Vimaranas are charging £1,200 for high-end show and working lines. So any breeders charging more than this, in my opinion, are charging more than they should. Unfortunately, during COVID-19, some breeders have been charging up to £3,000 to £4,000, which is approximately $2,500 to $4,000. It is important that you pay the right price for your puppy, so wait until you find one that's the correct price range that's been bred from healthy parents. Ensure the puppy comes microchipped with its first vaccinations complete and any paperwork if they've been registered by the kennel club. Good breeders will also usually gift you a bag of food that have the puppy has been eating and a blanket that has their mother's smell on it to help settle the puppy quicker into its new forever home. It's also worth considering the option of rehoming. Unfortunately, each year thousands of dogs are placed into rescue shelters because their previous owners have not fully considered the implications of what owning a dog requires. They soon find that they can't cope with the breed they've chosen for multiple reasons, be that the cost of looking after one, the temperament, training requirements, or they just don't have the time to dedicate to them. It certainly is worth considering looking at dogs and rescue shelters. This will save you money on the cost of a new puppy, but will more importantly give one of these beautiful puppies a second chance at a forever home. Now let's look into the costs of feeding your new Vimarana puppy. It's completely your decision on what you want to feed your new puppy. It's generally a good idea to keep them on the same food that your breeder has been feeding the litter for the first month or so. If you do want to change the food to a different type of food or different brand after the first month, you should do this change slowly. If you're feeding a dry food, mix a small amount into their usual food. Over the next couple of weeks, you can slowly increase the amount of the new food until you've eventually phased out the old food. The price of dry food depends on what type of kibble you're feeding your puppy. Cheaper dry kibble tends to be full of cereals and grains, and they don't actually have much meat. The meat that has been added will be a poorer quality. These cheaper brands of dog food offer less nutritional value. When looking for a good quality dog kibble, you should start by looking at the first few ingredients in their ingredient list. The first ingredients listed should always be a meat or fish product and be a higher percentage of the overall ingredients. If the first few ingredients listed on the dog food is a cereal or grain, then this dog food will probably not be a high quality one. Dogs only need around 5% of fibre or fat in their daily diet. Most of a canine's nutrition should come from animal based products. Plant proteins are not complete and can be harder for your dog to digest. The average cost of a bag of high quality dog food costs around 12 to 15 pounds for two kilograms 
or $18 to $20 for a 4.5 pound bag. However, it does work out cheaper to buy larger bags. Another food alternative, and one of the best ways to feed your puppy is by choosing a raw diet. You can buy raw, ready-made options for most pet stores, or you can choose to do a DIY raw diet. Feeding a raw diet will be more expensive. However, when you feed a raw diet, you'll know exactly what your pup is eating. The cost of feeding your Vimarana a raw diet will depend on the brand you choose to use. If you choose to feed a readily made raw diet or a DIY raw diet, it depends on the meat your puppy likes and how much your Vimarana actually eats. Some dogs may not like certain meats and many dogs are actually allergic to chicken. So this may lead you to feeding a different meat, which could cost less or more. There are plenty of other costs when you're getting your new Vimarana. You'll need to buy things like crates, beds, toys and treats ready for your new Vimarana puppy. So let's look at an approximate cost breakdown for the items you'll need. It's important that you invest in a good quality strong collar and lead that your puppy won't slip out of. You should spend around $25 pounds or $35 for a collar and lead that will grow in size with your puppy. You will need both a food and water bowl for your puppy that will be easy to clean. You can get stainless steel sets that will come with both a food and water bowl for around £10 or $15. Your Vimarana puppy should have had their first vaccinations at around six to eight weeks before you pick them up. They should have their second set of vaccinations two weeks after. The cost of these vaccinations will differ where you live and will cost between £30 to £60 pounds or $75 to $100. Yearly vaccination boosters. This will be required yearly to keep your dog up to date with all their vaccinations. If you've chosen to insure your dog, your insurance could become invalid if you're not kept up to date with your canine's yearly booster vaccinations. You can find out the cost of the yearly boosters by consulting your veterinary practice as the cost varies between practices and different areas. It's a good idea to invest in a quality dog bed that cannot be ripped apart very easily. Depending on the type of dog bed you would like, they can cost anywhere between 50 to 120 pounds or 50 to 200 dollars. It's important that you select the right size crate for your Vimarana. They should have enough room to be able to go in and turn around in their crate comfortably and lie down in it. Make sure your crate's not too big or small. For a good quality crate, it'll cost around 50 to 150 pounds or 80 to 200 dollars. It's also a good idea to invest in a crate cover to make your Vimarana space private. You should be looking at deworming your Vimarana every three months or every month if they tend to eat things off the floor during walks. Worming tablets will cost around £5 or $12 and fleeing should be done monthly. This will cost around £8 or $30. You should also buy your Vimarana treats and toys too. The cost of treats and toys completely depend on the brands you buy, how much you buy and how quickly your Vimarana gets through both the treats and toys. I personally feed my dog natural treats like furry rabbit ears as they're natural dewormers and things like track ears, yakkers and antlers. However, it is personal preference. Some people might not want to feed natural treats like that. Other treats are still fine to feed. I also choose long lasting toys that won't be destroyed instantly and puzzle toys that will mentally stimulate and entertain them. Other costs to be aware of include if you choose to have a dog walker using a boarding kennel when you go on holiday or if you choose to send your Vimarana to puppy training class is. It is strongly advised that you should get your Vimarana insured to cover health issues like bloat, cancer and bone and joint issues. You can choose the level of cover and protection you require. Personally, I would recommend getting your dog insured as the cost of it will give you peace of mind against the rising vet costs if your canine ever needed life-saving treatment. Any dog that you choose will always cost you money. It's completely up to you how much you choose to spend. There are good ranges of products that suit most budgets, but like anything, you'll usually pay more for a better quality. It's extremely important that you do your research before getting any puppy and having a realistic idea of the costs are essential. Too many dogs are abandoned or put into shelters through no fault of their own because their owners have not thoroughly researched the costs involved and finding they can't afford to look after them properly. Overall, your Vimarana will cost you monthly on average up to £100 or $150 per month after setup costs and over £17,000 or $23,500 over their lifetime they will certainly be worthwhile investments. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Vimarana videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Vimarana Show.